Good morning from a rainy van day. So in December 2019, I decided that I wanted to record a video every day for a month. And that's what I did. I recorded a video when I was living in Maribel every day for a month, but unfortunately I decided to take those videos off of my YouTube channel, kind of in a fit of like, I don't know if what I make is good kind of thing and I took all those videos down and kind of started over with the videos that I have on my channel now which I'm way more proud of than of than the videos that I made during that month so I decided that I'm going to do seven days of vlogging and call it patreon week because I have decided to start a patreon a few people here and there have asked me if I have a Patreon and I decided that I didn't want to start one until I got closer to around 10,000 subscribers, you know, proof of concept. So <laughs> yeah, I will give you more information about Patreon week and the benefit that y'all will get if you sign up during this week and this week only. So yay! Hey everyone, I'm Louie and this is my Pity William. We live full-time in my self-converted vintage Aerostar and are traveling the world, well, currently only the US. For the next few months, we will be living, working, and exploring in the southern United States, hoping to debunk stereotypes, learn some history, and eat some good southern food. Oh, and did I mention my mom and her pup are also along for the ride. Thanks for watching and subscribe to find out where we end up each week. Last night we made it to New Orleans and promptly found a pretty good spot to park. Um, one of the parks in the middle of the city is very lenient to people, van people and RV people, so we just parked in the park and now we're gonna go get some beignets. But we need to escape from this parking lot because they started building something here, I think for like a festival or something, and they like are banging and stuff. For those of you who like the big sprinters, oh, wish it would. There's one there, parked amongst the bushes. William's, William's ready for a walk. It's a real rain, rainy day. That over there is beignet heaven. <laughs> Are you gonna take Lady? Yeah. Yeah. They're building a thing over there. They must be having a party. Why would they be having a party? They got all the goodies. I know we said in our live stream a couple weeks ago that we wouldn't eat uh, sugar, but when you're in New Orleans, you kind of have to eat beignets. When you're in Louisiana in general, you just have to eat beignets. Like, I feel like it's a crime if you don't eat beignets. Uh, mm. <laughs> Videos of eating out stuff is just eating in a van. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> we were trying to figure out why these particular beignets taste differently, and apparently the ones at Cafe Du Monde are made out of sourdough. Mm -hmm. I was like, why do they taste more rich, more... Mm. Mm -hmm. Something about them. More doughy, like. But yeah. Mm, they're good. It's super delicious. And there's less sugar on them. I kind of like it. Which is nice, yeah. I was telling my mom, I've only been to one place in New Orleans now, but I could live here. <laughs> we like Louisiana a lot. Yeah. The people have been so friendly. The minute we drove in here, we knew it. Mm hmm. It's got the richest history. It's got Creole food. It's got Cajun food. Mm -hmm. And there's just something about... Yeah. And then it's just diverse here. Yeah. And there's like art. Well, I, I assume there's art here. Yeah, we'll have to, once we go down into like the French Quarter and the, mm -hmm. all of those. Except those are kind of touristy, aren't they? Yeah. And I don't really want to see the touristy side. You don't want to go to the French Quarter at all? Well, of course I want to go. Oh, okay. I was like, no. Mm. I just mean, I want to focus on the non-touristy stuff. But of course I want to go there. Mm -hmm. I want to go to all the places. All the places that we that can. Have, that have beignets. <laughs> all the beignet <laughs> places. The park that we're in 
Reminds me of Golden Gate Park, but better. Mm-hmm. Way better. It's flat, first of all. Mm-hmm. So Golden Gate Park is pretty flat. Is it? Mm-hmm. This just has a chill vibe. We slept in a parking lot here. No one said anything. There's so much sugar at the bottom. Ladies, parking lot. There's so much sugar at the bottom of this bag. Yeah, ladies, like, why did you leave me? I'm into the sourdough. Yeah, that, those were good for sure. They're a lot more fulfilling. They were definitely filling. Like that's if you need a breakfast and like if you're to hungover, you get yeah. some beignets. <laughs> that's the way to do it. William, be careful. I don't want you falling through one of those holes. Frigid day. I know I keep saying that, but it's so cold. Like, I can barely keep my hands outside of my pocket. <sighs> hey y'all, so real quick, I just wanted to talk to you about my new Patreon. If you don't already know what Patreon is, it is the site where creators like me can take pledges from viewers like you to help support my video creation. So why in the heck would you want to pay someone to vacation 365 days a year? I just want to say first that I will always continue to post free content on my channel, so if you don't have a means to support, you will always have access to new videos every week. For those of you who feel like my content provides enough for you to want to support and give what you can to keep the videos coming, there are some extra cool benefits I have included just for you. For example, at the $25 level, you will receive a handwritten postcard every month, new stickers every three months, early access to videos, live streams, a behind the scenes podcast, and your name displayed at the end of every video. And if you sign up during Patreon week, I will be sending you a personalized thank you video. There will be more on this later in the week, but for now, if you're interested in this exciting new endeavor, the link is in the description below. I've just sit here, edited some video, and it is such a cloudy, sad day outside. It's such a contrast to where we were down in the southern part of Texas. I sure hope it warms up because I want to walk around. I want to walk around this city, get to know it. I want to go to the cemeteries. I want to visit all of the beautiful architecture. I want to eat some more food. I'm just looking forward to being here. So far it feels like New Orleans is definitely the big easy. It's like the type of place where people are so much more relaxed and care about the finer things in life. Like food, family, friends, having a good time. I could get down for that. I'm gonna take a walk here on, in a second, huh, Wilt? Do you think we've earned a walk yet? Huh? He's like, don't put your nose on me. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I also don't run out of battery power because it's super cloudy. I should probably turn my inverter off, give it a little rest before I charge my laptop more because my laptop takes too much power. Oh, William's a good cuddle buddy while we work. Yeah, and it's cold. Who wants to go out in the cold today? But we will. Last night when we got here, we took them on a night walk <laughs> through the park and they loved that. There was also a sign that said that there were raccoons nearby that have distemper. So that was also concerning. But, oh, and then we saw a possum when we were crossing one of the river bridges and the dogs went berserk. They were like, oh, they tried to catch it. So we had to walk the other direction. Oh, and when we were driving on the highway to get to the spot where we slept last night, there was a bunch of like fireworks saying, welcome. <laughs> they were obviously not for us, but it was cool because it felt like we were being welcomed to New Orleans and I just feel already in love with the city and the people have been so friendly so far. It's like, what the heck? What the heck? 
I'm not very happy with what mom is making me do right now. We've committed to this 30 day yoga challenge and we decided that we were gonna do yoga at night under these lights. It's still really cold, it's like 42 degrees out. <laughs> I thought that would be a cool shot. Yeah. <laughs> Late nights in New Orleans. Actually, this is, it's only 7 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, the power is off in my mom's van, and that's because there is literally no sun at all. Terrible. So we've just been sitting here with our little propane heater, which is starting to get really hot in here. I think I might turn it off. Yeah. Uh, but it's causing, it's the light for this video though. <laughs> <laughs> but she had to plug in her laptop to finish working and it turned the lights off because we use all the power. And yes, it's okay. I think it's okay to discharge your battery every once in a while. Like they have a threshold. Like I think this particular battery, you can discharge it like 300 times and it's fine. So in a work emergency like this, it's not the end of the world, but it's funny. We're sitting in here. It feels like a sauna. <laughs> Don't worry. We have a vent open a little bit to vent, get some fresh air in here. But yeah, this is my second season having one of these heaters around and they're pretty pretty darn safe i'd yeah, say they are. I, I used one in uh coco exactly when so I first got her. yeah it's keeping us warm in here it's only like 42 degrees out but um it's freaking cold out fahrenheit which i think is six degrees celsius it's cold <laughs> yeah i'm just i tried to read a book and then i started i've just been talking my mom's ears off that's pretty much how our days go when we're not doing anything significant. And I'm trying to talk my mom into going to get some food for dinner because now the lights went out and normally cook it. If we're going to cook an elaborate meal, we'll cook it in here. And I mean, sometimes I'll do it in my van, but I'm like really not up for that right now considering it's kind of cold. So I'm trying to convince her to go eat out with me. I'm a bad influence. Doesn't, don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> But I am looking at some of this vegan food here. It's kind of expensive for a, a on the whim kind of eating. I know. This clip is so dark. I look spooky. Whew. Anyways, the next clip will be if we decided to eat out or not. <laughs> Welcome to life in the dark. <laughs> where lady chews her food really, really quickly. And mom says get out of her way so that she can cook. And I'm hangry. We decided not to spend our money on food since we're gonna go get food tomorrow. Yeah, I'd rather yeah. enjoy it. Not, be not feel rushed. guilty of, oh yeah, not be rushed to go get food. Yeah. We want it to be an event exactly. that we spend our day doing because there are not many places you can go anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so food is a, a major travel event for us. <laughs> yeah, we may be two gals who are sitting in a dark van together <laughs> in the dark eating some curried random mush but we're happy gals morale is high and the temperature is warm <laughs> that's all that matters <laughs> ah <laughs> so we've just been hanging out here in the dark <laughs> watching youtube videos and having musings on life and talking very very deeply about just some concepts of the world and it's fun to do that and we're talking about how it's better when we can travel together than travel alone it's so weird because i just look like a head on a screen right now but i promise you we can see more than what you can see we're just living in the dark for a night Another. Night. this is van this is the second night this is this is reality when you can't when you don't have um a solar system that is super super duper duper expensive <laughs> some nights when there's not enough sunlight and there's no sunlight there yeah. hasn't been sunlight for oh oh, oh, oh scare me <laughs> well yeah um, there's nothing out there there's literally nothing out there 
<laughs> I jumped. Because you can't see. Yeah. William, it's okay, buddy. It's okay, lady. There's nothing out there. We are back in my van now. It is like 11.30. And we're going to go to bed. Wake up in the morning and go do fun stuff. Now that I'm in here, I'm like, why didn't we just hang out in my van tonight? Because <laughs> there's lights. And we could have totally charged everything in here. But... Sometimes life doesn't take the most logical route, and who cares? We had a good night. <laughs> good night despite the lack of light. Anyways, I'm going to hit the hay. I'm so sleepy, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!